Hello great and wonderful people, you are welcome to Fortune Star Read, the home of exclusive reports on politics, metro and entertainment news in Nigeria and all over the world. So I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on wherever you're watching from. So guys, uh, the ADC of Aisha Bari has been finally released and reassigned to the force headquarters others regains freedom so i'm going into the details of this report but before i proceed if you are just watching us for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing kindly help by clicking on that red subscribe button below and the notification bell beside it so as to always get notified ad camp to mrs aisha Bowari, nigeria's first lady usman sugaba has been released by the police authorities after being arrested and detained since last year uh, last week alongside other security personnel attached to Mrs. Buari. According to sources close to the villa, Sugaba was released earlier on Monday and immediately reassigned to the force headquarters in Abuja. A former ADC to Kogi State Governor, Yaya Belu, Sugaba is believed to know so many secrets of top eight in the presidency, including those of members of the Kabas, a bunch of individuals with close link to the president and unparalleled influence. For this reason, Sugaba is seen as a threat, especially by this group of persons who now consider Mrs. Buhari to be their major stumbling block and continue to manipulate the president in their favor. Recall that the latest crisis in Aso Villa leading to the arrest and detention of Sugaba and other security personnel attached to the First Lady started last Monday when Buhari's personal assistant and private secretary, Sabi Utunde Yusuf, refused to embark on 14 days isolation upon returning from a private trip in Lagos. After refusing to self-isolate for the said period and forcing his way into the villa, Sugaba and his colleague Rof Ando Yusuf, who later escaped to the residence of Mamandara, Buhari's nephew and member of the Kaaba on Thursday evening. Subsequently, Yusuf, with the active connivance of Buhari's chief of chief security officer Idris Kazim, ordered the Federal Capital Territory Commissioner of Police Balasi Roma to arrest Sugaba, escort commander, and other policemen attached to the first family. It was claimed that the gunshots were fired in the process of trying to get Yusuf out of the villa thereby breaching security code around the president who called for a probe, probe into the incident. As a result of that incident, a full-blown war has since emerged between Ms. Buari and Yusuf and other members of the Kaaba, desperate to whittle down her influence in Aso Villa. Sarah reporters gathered that from reliable sources that the crisis is far from over as Mrs. Buari is said to be hatching a plot to take every pound of flesh in retaliation for the embarrassment received. So guys, uh, this uh, is a, a very, very, a very, very deep one uh, from the, uh, coming from the presidency uh, concerning the latest, uh, uh, the latest uh, uh, rift, the latest, uh, uh Ula Balu that just uh is oh uh, emerged uh from the presidency from the Aso Villa because uh some few days ago it was reported that uh there were several gunshots uh in the presidential villa which uh leads to some uh some uh breach to security uh security uh rules in the villa because uh a presidential villa is not somewhere uh, there should be gunshots, most especially where the, the president is seated and uh, where is also assumed to be the most secure place in the country. 
should not be where there will be several gunshots uh, and stuff like that so but the new the uh, the the true uh narration of the stories that are uh, the true the true narrative of the stories that um president Muhammad Buhari's uh personal uh psychiatry in person of sabu or tunde yusuf so don't be deceived by the today in it uh the today was just a uh, uh named after uh president Buhari's uh vice president uh during the military era that is mr tunde diagon so you know, sabi you see this uh is a full-blown uh fulani fulani young man so uh the today is just uh it's just uh like a guy name given to him after the former uh the late general so what actually transpired was that uh, some few months ago after the emergence of uh, president Bore, or let's say after the death of uh, uh Abba Kiari, so president momodu Bari uh employed him or maybe appointed him rather as uh, the personal assistant and private secretary so the guy has gone into a very big and very uh, much influence in the in the villa and has been at uh, the mouthpiece and the and the uh the gateway uh, uh let me just see uh, as uh, a way through of those covers to reach a uh, uh in the in the villa so uh the the guy uh wife was reportedly to have been to have given birth uh some some few days ago so the guy went from aso villa to lagos to visit uh his wife that just gave birth so on returning back uh, and he went to lagos despite uh, the covid 19 lockdown rules and other stuff like that so returning back to the aso villa and wanting to enter into the directly into the villa he was uh, being stopped by the first lady by the wife of the president uh not to uh and his uh his entrance uh his uh, movement into the villa was being uh blocked and the first lady have to uh have to stop him uh to uh have to direct him to move into the isolation uh center that she go and isolate himself for 14 days before moving close to the president due to the fear of covid 19 but it was reported that this guy was uh he rejected uh the the directive of the wife of the president uh, by saying he would not uh self-isolate he will not go on self-isolate so this was actually what uh prompted the the old drama that uh that uh, uh that was in display in the aso villa so the guy was uh beaten black and blue by the security details of the first lady for ignoring the directive of the first lady and he had to scale uh a fence uh through uh the apartment of uh mama and dara which is not far from the uh presidential villa so he had to move from there to Mama and Dara's apartment where he later uh, gained uh, a refuge uh, and he actually es escaped the beating uh, from the uh, vice president uh, eight. So uh, Sabu Yusuf and uh, other Kabas, uh, Mama and Dara and others were reported to have uh, ordered the uh, the police authority in Abuja to arrest Aisha Buhari's wife so so as to penalize him from from get uh, from uh for that particular act that was done on the on the Yusuf so that was the whole scenario and the wife of the president has been shouting on Twitter that uh, they should release uh is uh a security aid rather but finally the guy was actually released on monday morning earlier on monday so that's the whole matter so guys i would like to know what to feel about all this uh drama that is actually going on in the presidential village some people are saying that uh, the president 
is not actually in charge of the affair of the government because if it's actually in charge all this thing will not be happening so guys feel free to leave a comment subscribe if you haven't done that and i'll see you in my next video